Hi, seventh grade. This is Mrs. Frenzel. Today we're going to finish your paint inventory that we started yesterday in class. If you need to slow this lesson down at any point, just hit the pause key and then restart when you're ready to go again. Go ahead and open up your spreadsheet that we've been working on and make sure you have the inventory sheet tab selected below. Just in case you did not get your headings centered and merged, you need to highlight the first four columns in the first row and click on the Merge key. Now fill your cell with a color of your choice, and you can make a different color for each row or make each row the same color. Now type in the colors and the number of gallons, which you will find on your handout. Now, before you enter the cost per gallon, you need to format that range of cells for currency, and then you can enter your prices, and you should get the dollar sign and cents to show up automatically. Now you're ready to calculate the total cost of your paint. Anytime you enter a formula, you're going to type the equal sign, and then you're going to multiply the number of gallons times the cost per gallon. So you will click on the 8, hit the times key, which is star uh, shift 8, and then click on $5.79. So if you've done it correctly, you should get $46.32 for your answer. Now we'll enter the same formula for the remaining cells. You enter equals, click on the 13, hit times, and then click on the 399. Don't forget to hit the return key after you enter each formula. Now I'll show you an easy way of adding a column of numbers using the auto sum function. The auto sum is represented by the blue E in your standard toolbar above. Simply click in the cell that you want your total to show up in and then click on your blue auto sum button. Don't forget to hit enter when you're done. Check your totals with mine to make sure they're correct. If you have any mistakes, go back and retype your numbers or your formulas. Now you're ready to add borders to your totals. Highlight the three totals and then go to your borders button in your ribbon and select the top and double bottom border. The last thing you will do is fill your color cells with the appropriate color. So you'll go to the blue cell and fill it with blue color, green cell will be filled with green color, and so on. For your black cell, you'll need to fill it with black color and then change your text color to white so that it shows up. And there you have it. You are now done with your paint inventory.